गुड मॉर्निंग एवरी वन यू आर वेरी गुड मॉर्निंग चलो बिगिन द सेशन टूडेज टॉपिक इज द इंटरसेप्शन how the interception or what are the property that is filled by the form in the interception and what are the various component that is used with the interceptions so what are the applications units we are following up what are the data we are following up for the interception so what's about the component that can be stored in the folder of the application what's about the data they have <laughs> So whatsoever the file, whatsoever the folder they have, they are stored in the application using it, and that can be used with any of the folder below the web root. And its properties can be intercepted by by known as the interception. So whatever the property that is intercepted, whatsoever the file they are using, they are known as the interception. And all the URL of the component by means of your browser, these activities will be used with the CFC Explorer, which requires your username and the password. whatsoever the username words or the password we are giving up that is meant by the browser that is meant by the interception so this uh, this, this url activity is used by means of your browser and these call activities will be given will be used with the cfc explorer which requires your username and the password that displays a page with the meta or the meta information not the meta it is a meta information about the component so this figure demonstrates a part of the information for the component that is access number dot cfc and what's about the addresses that is given that are also given as a note the real addresses so this is the component access number so this component Also returns an unused access number that will be provided that will be used over here. So what's about the component they are using? Now what's about the uh, file they are using? Now how they intersect? How they interact? Interact? Interpret with each other? That is the main thing. These properties are intercepted by so-called known as the interception. And what's about the URL that is given? So that will tell the browser how these interception will be gone. so what is the meta information that displays the information about the information so when we when we go about the information that is when we use the information that is beyond the expectations of the user that will be displayed that will be required with the information and these activities will be called up will be used as explorer to require with the username and the password that is stored with the access number dot cfc so this part demonstrates a part of the information that would be used with the access number dot cfc and note that the addresses given are not the real references it is this and this component access number will be given as a unused access number in the interval this is the hierarchy this is the path this is the properties and the methods Now check there is a required field numeric access number is again with any any unused number or the used number. So check whether the generated number has not been used, saves, returns, and uh, not been used and returned to the generator. So what's about the data we are using? Up, what's about the file they are using? Up that will be enabled with the output. So output is given as enabled, input is given as a file or the number that will be generated has been used, saved, and returns, and the access number is given as a numeric. Uh, required access number and the use number is given as any required and the use number. Now next part is the generate function. This generates a random number in the interval one lakh to the nine lakhs or nine 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 nine. That is a ten lakhs basically. So the output screen is or output is given as a enable. So first is the hierarchy, then there is a path, then there is the property, then there is a methods. 
and the check will be required with the required numeric access number required any use numbers so access number is given as a numeric required access number and the use number is given as any required use number Next part is the generator. The generates are left, the generates are random number, and the output is again given as any one. Next part is a mean, that is a mean function that controls the processes. This component access number will be given as an unused access number that will be available within the interval 1 lakh and the 9999, that is a 10 lakhs, and the hierarchy will be given as a weapon, CF tax components, path is given over here, property is given, methods is given. Check is given, generate is given, main function is given. So this is the interception of the component access number. Now, next one is the exercises that will be given. Okay, before that we are moving to the next part. Okay, right, right. I'm so sorry, I, I forgot. Now, last part that is left is a template calling that is a CF invoke that is divided into the four function as I checked to, as I told you. That is a main subject, main CF object, retrieve. Generate check. So there are four parts in this. There are four parts in this that will be used by the template calling with the invoke, main subject, retrieve, generate, and the check. So what's over the check function that was acquired, what's over the profile that is used, that will be against uh, the generate, against the check, against the retrieve, against the main object. Yeah, these are these are the four components, or we can say these are the four functions that will be generated over here, that will be generated as a component. These are either given as a, as, a, as a function, either given as a profile, either given as a main object. So this is the model of the component, 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 that is the access numbers. So main function controls the process. This is the main gate, like which we are entering the gate, like C++, we are talking about the int main. Then we are calling about the main procedure or the procedure code or the traditional computer system. In addition to this, three more functions are required or included in the components. What three functions are required? That is a main, profile, retrieve, generate, and the click. These four components are given over here. They are given as an object. They are given as a component that returns the result to the calling template. It also displays a list of unused access numbers. So one is a main function, one is a retrieve function, one is a generate function, one is a check function. And the component is required is also checked before the calling function is used. And this component is invoked from the template access number dot cm. Yeah, we will discuss about these functions right now. Hello, you are able to hear me? Hello. Yes, let's start with the first function that is a main. As I told you, it is like the main function, main entry gate that controls the processing within the component and descends the result to the conic template. It also displays a list of all unused access numbers. So what's over the access number, what's over the profiles you generated out that will be used or that will be generated within the within the database, how 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 it will be used, how it will be happened. Or how the main components will be used, how the main components will be demonstrated with this. So this, this controls the processing within the component and returns the result to the calling template. Yeah, main. It, and it also displays a list of all unused access numbers. What's about the unused access number that is required? Then retrieve, which retrieves a list of previously used numbers. Then generate. Yeah, retrieve means fetching. That is the same thing. 
generate the generates a random number within the specified area between the 1 lakh and the 9999 that is the 10 lakh so this generates a random number then check we check if the generated number is unused or already used if it is unused or if it is already used this will check out if this number is specified as per the requirement of the user so this is just to check the equality of the numbers or equality anything that is required over here so that may be any mathematical expression that will be used with that check and this component is invoked from the template access number dot cff that plays the role of an application needing the processing of the component and the, for the purpose of demonstrations we as a user template displays a list of most recently generated access numbers and the requested new number new templates so this is the access number dot cfm then cf invoke component that is access component method is a mean and the return variable is the access number And these components, these methods will be used as a, as a, as a, we can say the attributes of the main, main tag. That is the main tag is the CF invoke tag. The next part is the center, how we can use for how we are doing the center tag. Then H2 for the main heading, then font color is again given as this one and the number is or the whatever, whatsoever the material we are passing out that will be given. Then font will be closed, H2 will be closed. After H2 will be closed, there is a CF output, access number, CF output will be closed, center will be closed. And CF invoke in the line number 2 also use the main function. This is a CF invoke, we use the main function within the component that is expected to be returned by the component to the calling profile. And the, as per this example, uh, whatever the line that is given, that is uh, returns or uh, displays the value of the requested new number. And this component can also be meant by the CF object tag. So to create the create object function in the CF script via the HTTP, we use the uh, CF project function of the object tag. So the component itself is displayed with extension.cfc that is used for identifying the component files. And the main function calls on the other the three functions also that depends on whether the value of the variable except number is one or the zero. If it is given as a one, that means value is given or value will be written anything. If it is given as a If it is given as a 4 or 0, that means that means we are installing, we are we are doing the permissions, we are doing the apps, we are doing the generate and the check function. Now, last part is CA function that will be used to make sure that whatever the files, whatever the material we are generated out, whatsoever the hint we are giving up, whatsoever the name we are giving up, that will be generated as per its requirement. And this argument name is also given as access number, type is given as a numeric, and the required is a true. Then CF argument, name is again given as a used number, type is given as any, required is a true. Then the CF set, except number is given as a 1. 
CF loop index is given as I, list is given as a use number, delimiter is given as a comma. Now, if it is equals to the excess number, whatsoever the excess number we are using up, so that that excess number will be generated out, that excess number will be used over here to generate what are the all functions we are using up, what are the various data we are using up. Yes. Now, last part is a practical question after the interception. That is how it is required. How these can be stored in the folder of the application using it or how it can be used in any other folder that is below the web root. That properties are can also be intercepted or inspected by the so called interception. So, what's over the URL, what's over the component, what's over the browser we are using up that is used with the CFC browser or the explorer, which requires your username and the password. It displays a page with the meta information about the component that demonstrates how it will be gone, how it will be used. Just demonstrate the component with the access number dot CFC that are given as a real object, real address. Now, exercises. First question says you are encouraged to copy and try out the examples, whatsoever the example that is given. But the challenging task or the main task is over here is to work out how the components can be called by means of the object that is a CF object that. Next part is the second question is there are so many ways of constructing the components in the RBP. As you know, there are so many parts in constructing and using components. So this RBP discusses some of them in chapter 22 that component builds on UDF is also discussed in RBP. So you are recommended to read this chapter and also try it out the, some of the solutions. Consider how you recognize your own project if you should be implemented by means of the component. So, whatsoever the component they are acquiring up, whatsoever the profile they are using up, that will be implemented by means of the component, by means of the data. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That means recognizing the project, recognizing the data, recognizing the files, folder, whatsoever you have, that should be implemented by means of component. So these are the three exercises that you are supposed to do in an assignment. Next session is the web services that I'm not going to take right now. That I'm going to consider within the next class, that is not tomorrow's class. So if there is any doubts, any clarifications regarding this topics, any chapter, any assignment, anything that you want to add, then please don't hesitate to add because this is for you, not for me. Ask lots of knowledge as per this subject, everything you are supposed to gain the knowledge. So please treat yeah, feel free to ask anything from me. Don't hesitate regarding assignment, anything.